Question number three. You are given a figure. Figure one shows sketch of part of the curve with the equation y equals e to the power 0.5x minus 2. The region are shown shaded in figure one is bounded by the curve, the x-axis and the y-axis. The region R is rotated 360 degree about the x-axis to form a solid of revolution. Show that the volume of this solid can be written in the form A natural logarithm of 2 plus B, where A and B are constants. This question carries 6 marks. Here you are given an exponential function e to the power minus uh, e to the power 0.5x minus 2 and the shaded region is rotated 360 degree about x axis so it will form a solid of revolution they want you to find the volume of the solid we know the formula to find the volume of the solid is a to b integral a to b pi y square dx a and b are these two points this is the x coordinate of this point is 0 this is 0 and the x coordinate of this point which is a to b form take it as x1 pi into y square the whole thing square e to the power 0.5x minus 2 whole square dx expand this using the algebraic identity a minus b whole square and integrate it substitute the limits and they want you to write the answer in this form a natural logarithm of 2 plus b so how do we find the upper limit the curve crosses x axis here so replace y by 0 here so when you replace y by 0 e to the power 0 0.5 x minus 2 is 0 bring this 2 here so it will be equals to take natural logarithm on both sides so you will have 0.5x natural logarithm of e is natural logarithm of 2. 0.5 you can write it as 1 by 2. Natural logarithm of e is 1. Bring the 2 here. So x equals 2 natural logarithm of 2. That's our upper limit. 2 natural logarithm of 2. Now we are going to integrate this. Substitute the upper limit and lower limit. Write the answer in this form. First expand this. So it's pi into a square, so e to the power x minus 2ab, 4e to the power 0.5x plus b square, 2 square is 4. Integrity, pi is a constant, keep it here. Integration of e to the power x is e to the power x minus integration of e to the power 0.5x is this divided by 0 0.5 plus 4 becomes 4x. That's it. Substitute the limits and simplify. So when we substitute the upper limit, e to the power natural logarithm of 2 natural logarithm of 2. Maybe you can write this as 2 squared. That's better. Using laws of log. So when you substitute here, it's e to the power natural logarithm of 4, 2 square is 4, minus 4 into e to the power 0 0.5. Here I'm going to write it as 2 natural logarithm of 2 divided by 0 0.5 plus 4 into natural logarithm of 4. That's the upper limit. The reason I have written 2 log 2 here, so we can cancel this 0.5 and 2 minus when you substitute lower limit 0 I replace x by 0 e to the power 0 is 1 minus e to the power 0 is 1 so 4 by 0.5 plus 0 that's it simplify this so we simplify this carefully e to the power natural logarithm of x is x so this will become 4 minus this also e to the power this can be cancelled e to the power natural logarithm of 2 is 2 so 2 fours are 8 by 0 0.5 plus 4 natural logarithm of 4 minus 4 divided by 0.5 is 8 1 minus 8 is minus 7 so it become plus 7 
And again, simplifying, 4 plus 7 is 11. 11 minus 11 minus 8 by 0 0.5 is 16. Plus, you write it as natural logarithm of 2, 2 natural logarithm of 2. Because they want the answer in this form. So this will become 2, 4 times to 8 natural logarithm of 2. So this is 11 minus 16 is minus 5. 8 pi, when you multiply by pi, it's 8 pi natural logarithm of 2 minus 5 pi. It's in this form. Your a is 8 pi, b is minus 5 pi. That's it. Just use the formula integral pi y square dx and apply the limits.